Hi guys, welcome to another session on how to write a scientific research paper. My name is Nasreen and in today's video, we're gonna be looking at the main tips about what are the main differences between open access and subscription publications. Many scholars struggle with deciding whether to do so in an open access journal versus a subscription one. This video will discuss the significant differences between these two uh, types of publications. So without any delays, let's get started it. Before comparing open access and subscription, it's better to focus on each meaning separately. First, let's get started with open access. Open access is a set of principles that research outcomes are published online free of access charges or other barriers. With the presence of internet, researchers no longer need access to hard copies of their desired journals to keep in touch with the most recent developments. The latest research is disseminated in many ways, including blogs, universities' websites, social media, and open access journals that are fully available to anyone with internet access. Open access articles funded by payments for publishing made by authors, their institutions, or funding bodies, commonly known as article publishing charges, that we call it APCS. Therefore, in the open access type, readers are not charged. Okay, now we want to know about what is a subscription journal. Subscription-based journals usually need readers to pay for the content that they read. Since institutions or individuals have to pay the fee of subscription charges, therefore only who those, only those who have purchased a subscription to the journal and have paid an article will have access to it, to that paper. Okay, and other things that you it is important to know. One of the main places that pays the subscription fee and provided for scholars is a university library. So if you are a student or scholars in a university, therefore you can obtain too many subscription journals by the library's database subscriptions. Therefore, the authors doesn't need to pay for the subscription journal type. Okay, in this time we will it is important to know that what are the main differences, other differences between open access and subscription journals? For the sake of simplicity, I have summarized these differences in this table. Let's get started it for the uh, for the first one. Open access. You know, in the open access, readers are not charged. So it means that the author should pay for publishing that paper, but the readers are not charged. In subscription one, we re require readers to pay, but the authors doesn't need to pay. Another thing that's important to know about authors generally retain copyright for the open access. Since they paid for uh, publishing the paper, they have copyright and they can publish their papers in any kind of social media, in our their own page and the other things. But in subscription one, copyrights for the published content are usually transferred to the journals. Be careful for the app open access one, since you have the copyright, you can make more citations for, the, for yourself by sharing in your social media in, and other sources that you want. Anyhow, which one is better? Open access or subscription publications? For answering this question, we want to know that different open access types, how can selected it? How do I know if a journal is open access or not? And other many different questions. In this regard, if you want to answer these questions, I invite you to watch the next video. Okay, at this time, it is the final of uh, this video. Please subscribe to our channel with this address and like and don't forget to share it. Put your comments and also questions below the video. It would be important for me 
and give me more motivation to put other different videos. Thank you so much and please uh, see the next video for answering the most important question that I said to you. Have a nice time. Bye-bye.